Now, we've had an SNP view of what a Liz, Liz Truss premiership may look like. Let's find out, live from College Green, what a Labour member of Parliament makes of it. I'm joined now by Graham Stringer, Labour member of Parliament for Blackley and Broughton. Graham, Boris Johnson um, in the last year or so was constantly scandal ridden. There were many people doubting his integrity in terms of his ability to tell the truth. And particularly in what we now know as the Red Wall, something like 40 to 50 percent of those 2019 Conservative new voters, many of them ex-Labour, had lost confidence in him. I mean, in some ways, might it have been better for the Labour Party and better for Keir Starmer if Boris had stayed in post? Yes, is a simple answer. And I think what a, a, a section of the Conservative Party uh, wanted uh, to persuade us for, and other Conservative MPs made sure it didn't happen, was that we continued with a serial liar and essentially dishonest man as Prime Minister. That's bad for the country. Uh, it may have been good in the short term for the Labour Party, as you suggest, but I don't want to be uh, a member of Parliament in a country uh, that has somebody who can't uh, tell the truth as, as Prime Minister. Can, can I just comment on your discussion with Steve? Who, like you, I have a, an enormous yes. amount of respect for uh, Steve. We've often been through the lobby together on, on Europe, on Covid, uh, on, on a number of uh, issues. What Steve is asking uh, you to believe and the rest of us to do, we have won those arguments. The government have wasted billions on Covid. They've allowed uh, the Bank of England to spend a fortune uh, increasing the, the inflationary rate, rate of uh, capital assets. And he's saying, as he's been right, and Liz Truss has sat around the Cabinet table voting for those policies that we've objected to, often on the same basis of freedom of the individual and rights and stopping ludicrous expenditure. He thinks that she is going to make a good Prime Minister. I spend my life trying to persuade people of my views, whether it's to leave the EU or to vote Labour or whatever, and I'm pleased when they do. But I don't really trust senior politicians like Liz Truss who campaigns ardently and toughly to remain and suddenly because it's to her immediate political advantage uh, <coughs> to be a lever to shift to, to leave. Well Graham I'm with you you know on that suspicion however you know adult human beings are capable of changing their mind and it can be genuine so I'm sort of for the moment trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. But it, she's, you know, Wednesday is going to be the first clash at Prime Minister's Questions, and we can't get away from it. You know, leadership, television, celebrity, these are very important elements now of how people vote in a system that's become almost increasingly presidential. How do you think Keir Starmer is going to fare against Liz Truss? I think he'll do well. I mean, he found uh, Boris Johnson very difficult because Boris just told jokes. And that might sound silly, but actually within the Commons chamber, uh, it, with a loud voice and good delivery, telling jokes can be very effective, even if it misses the point. I think Liz Truss is not a good uh, debater. She's not a good speaker. And I think Keir Starmer... He's not the most exciting speaker either, but he does have an analytical, analytical mind and he can be quite sharp. So I think he will do quite well against the new Prime Minister. Well, it's going to be a fascinating 48 hours. Graham Stringer, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on GB News.